fun fact is I was adopted from South Korea at the age of two. Two is I am 32 years of age any Aries out there? Number three. I was diagnosed with a slight learning disability and a slight speech impediment. So if you are wondering why a lot of my words are misformed, uh, I am constantly working on it. I'm constantly trying to get better at it. E even after being in the state for 30 years, in coming this December 11th, I'm still working on it. Uh, actually, no. Makes it 31. Uh, I'm still working on four. Uh, I graduated from Marshall University in Huntington, West Virginia. My major was ecology and evolutionary biology with a minor in chemistry and also ecology and biology. Number five. I didn't start into the fitness aspect until I was just a little over 21 years of age. It was slow up until about 2013 and then in 2013-2015 uh, it took off a little bit more but my main amount of fitness, <laughs> inspiration, and goal attainment had been in 2016 to current. Number six, uh, I love my two dogs. You probably have seen them in previous videos. Both of them are cockapoos. You have M Maddie and you have Molly. Maddie is the red cockapoo. Molly is more of the apricot. Number seven. I am right-handed in a bulk of my handedness type jobs. Uh, but in about 15 or 20 in different tasks, I'm ambidextrous. Uh, so I'm able to do a lot of tasks. I, I can almost write with my left. Number eight, what do I do when I'm not working out, when I'm not vlogging, when I'm not doing around the house type jobs, uh, my work, etc. Well, I constantly educate myself on new products, uh, new workout routine, routines, and overall new workout techniques, methods, uh, nutrition method, methods, whether they be intermittent fasting, reverse dieting, macros, flexible dieting, intelligent uh, eating. Uh, so I constantly keep myself educated in what I'm passionate about. Nine, what compelled me 
to reach out and try to help people. Well, throughout the throughout my thirty two years of existence. I have been handicapped by a my learning disability and my speech impediment. But my heart grows out because I know how difficult it is. So I use my experience to reach out to other people and allow them to know that no matter how impaired you are, no matter how disfigured you are, no matter what ailments, whether they be genetic, inherited, come from anything that comes from the atmosphere or, or, or environment that you're raised up in, you can get to where you want to get and 10. I used to smoke. I hate to admit the fact, but I have overcame that by, of course, as you probably have seen, a what they call vaping. Now, I started smoking back in 2002-ish. Uh, I quit, no, correction, 2001. Uh, I quit June 7th of 2014, smoking that is. by way of the the vaporizer by my leaning on my faith in God and by sheer pure out determination. I want to give a little bit of my fitness journey in which I stated in a few clips back. As I said I started back in roughly 2005 when I had a uh, weightlifting slash PE class in college. Uh, so I got into it kind of timidly, kind of shy. Uh, I really didn't didn't get anywhere any any, any time mm, 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 that I thought it was I didn't develop so I kind of in just in a way hit and missed going to the gym uh, and then when I tra and transferred from that college to the college in which I graduated from uh, the very first year they had a uh, newly built rec center. I started working out there. That is when I started uh, doing a lot more research on supplements, uh, the pre-workout, and also the types of protein. So uh, I kind of went in and out of that uh, up until the time I graduated. So, when I graduated in 2011, uh, I immediately took a job, uh, and that job was more than a 60 hour a week type job. So, from 2011 to 2013, I really didn't work out. Then, for a Christmas gift. My family got me gift codes to Anytime Fitness. 
in which that February of 2013, I went and signed up, uh, got registered, all that, and I started making more progress, utilizing what I had learned. Uh, also, in, in that two-year span, uh, from 2011 to 2013, my waist expanded from 31 inches all the way up to 34. I knew I had to do something. I had to do it drastic. Uh, so, I, th I started working out smarter, working out harder with what I knew at the time. Then, in the years from 2014 to 2015, uh, I went through another slack period in which I didn't do much. I didn't work out much. Uh, also, my workload did a little bit more of an increase to about 65 to 70 hours a week. So there wasn't really much time for me to walk out in the morning or walk out uh, at, in the evening. And even though, even though I was working out, my weight expanded out to 35 to 35 and a half inches. So, uh, and not only that, my A1C spiked, my, on one of my physicals that I had, pursuant to work, uh, my cholesterol was absolutely horrific. Uh, my ratio of low density to high density in the total overall was greater than 4.0. I was on the verge of uh, hypercholesterolemia. Uh, I can't say that word, <clears throat> but it'll be here. Uh, from the, there on, 2015 to now, I was all, oh, also, I had pretty bad acid reflux. Part of that was due to the fact of my lungs clearing themselves from smoking. I still have some acid reflux, but that not because of the smoking, it's because of right now being too busy, too stressed, but that beyond the fact. I can control that. Uh, and with the smoking succession with approaching working out in a different angle also with the uh, smarter use of supplements I am now down to a 32 and a half inch waist uh, my cholesterol levels in the way of the ratio is almost a 2.5 to 1. Uh, and my heart rate right now sits at 62 beats per minute. Compare that to almost 90 beat per minute back in 2015 and almost 105 back in 2014. Uh, so 
my uh, pictures which will be at the end of this clip uh, will have a, I will do a voiceover to kind of describe them so Well, I hope you liked this video uh, detailing my fitness journey. If you did, give it a like, subscribe, and as always, Diamond have the desire to inspire, motivate, and empower. God bless. Love and peace.